Okay, so today we are going to be doing environmental variable in a next application. Uh, first things first, we're going to create, we're going to go to our main folder. We're going to create a file, and this file must be named .env. Sorry, small letters env.local. Now, once this file is created, there are two ways of creating environmental variables. There is the way in which only uh, the node application will see the variable and there's a, and that method stops the browser from seeing the variable. Um, but there's another way to also allow the browser to see the variable. Now, if we want the browser to see the variable and also our next application, uh, we will create variable using next public public and then you can use anything you want to use, but it must start with next public underscore like just like this and then we can use id and we'll say this equals in equals to ninja coder id now this is if we want just the if we want both the browser and the next application to see this variable but if we only want the next application to see it the, our node application we don't want the browser to see our environmental variable then we should name it like this db underscore and then you can use anything you want i'm going to use host and i'm going to say set this to ninja holder host so now that we've set our environmental variables here we should go into our index file our main file to show this result so what, what we're going to do here we're going to come here and we're going to div we're going to say um process dot env dot next underscore let's just go back to our here and just copy this copy we're going to come here i'm going to paste this now we're going to say browser will see this and then we're going to do a break line I'm going to do here. We're going to say process dot env dot. Come back here. Copy this. Come here. Pages, and we're going to say browser will not see this. So we're going to come to our terminal here. And this because if you're creating an environmental variable and you, you put a new variable, you need to restart your server. So npm run dev. Okay, so the browser is ready. So we refresh this. Just leave that. Um, so we can see here it says the browser will see this Niger Coder ID. And then the browser will not see this. The browser will not see this um, environmental variable that is that we we named with db underscore. It will not see it, but it will see this one named with next underscore public. But so if we want to check this, if we want to see this in our application, we can just say console dot log. Let's take this and copy it and paste it here. And then we're going to restart the server again. Okay. Yeah, uh, let's start the server. Let's reload this page. Okay. Uh, we can see here the browser is not seeing it, but just take a look at this. Our Node application here is seeing the the um the DB host environmental variable. Got it here. So if you want to create variables where you want only want the node application to see it, then you should use this method. But if you also want to use it in the browser and you want the browser to have access to it, then you should use this method. All right. Thanks for this. Uh, make sure you like the video and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next videos.